Hey everybody, Action by Thought, I'm Chris. I'll warn you right ahead of time, this one is absolutely a rant. Uh, this one is my opinion. Now, I just I just posted a Facebook post about this same thing. I do not have any, I'm not reading my Facebook notes. It's the same subject, but this is just me talking. And if I go a little bit around the world, welcome to the world of listening to Chris Moore. Uh, this is a Bible study channel, absolutely. And in, honestly, I think this is a biblically proportioned, or whatever the word there I need to use is, uh, because there's an immorality happening here for the subject, for the reason that I'm getting on here ranting today. Uh, Semi-political in nature, or politics involved, but you'll understand when I get there instead of doing so much prelude. The Thursday night presidential debate was the most ridiculous and I'm trying, that light is bugging me. It's probably going to be bugging y'all. That was the most ridiculous display and immoral display. Uh, folks, I didn't like Biden and his politics when he was younger. It's nothing... Uh, it's not a personal hit against Biden. I don't know the man. Never met him. But I don't like his politics, and he wouldn't like mine at those times. But doggone, I'm not a doctor. But I don't have to be a chef to know that food tastes good or what tastes good to me. I don't have to be a psychologist or a brain or whatever you want to call it in order to know that somebody's got somebody's really smart well educated whether it was school or they educated themselves you can tell that you can't prove that straight out like you can prove two plus two equals four because you can put beans on the table just like we did in uh, first grade to learn to count but you can prove by the evidence, just like in the Bible, fruit inspection, which means somebody that's proclaiming Christianity or presenting the Bible, such as this channel. Uh, I'm going to take that off and put it somewhere where it's not shining in my eyes, not flesh off. Uh, Biden is not well. And I don't mean, I'm not making fun of him at all. I feel very much sorry for Joe Biden. He has been put in a political position, the highest in this nation. And he's not fit. He's, be, he's a pawn in whatever it is happening and going on. And that, folks, is not good. I don't know enough to you don't have to know all the details of something to know that something's not right we have all walked into a place or an area or whatever that, hey something's not right here let's just back off and go on and we may or may not know what was weirding us out in that location to make us leave for christians it would likely be the tapping on our shoulder of the holy spirit to tell us to get out of there Otherwise, it's just something there. It's time to go. Joe couldn't talk. He put a few sentences almost fluidly together. Trump, whether you like Trump or not, I don't care. I really don't. But he did call it straight at least on one instance. I mean, I think he called it straight on a lot of it. But on one instance, he called it straight, and if you can't agree with that, you're fooling yourself. 
I don't know what the subject was, but Biden, at the end of his sentence, at the end of his statement, he got jarbled and wasn't making any sense whatsoever. Trump said, I really don't know what he just said, and I don't think he does either. And I don't, honestly, I don't even believe Trump was being mean about it. He was calling it what it was, which is a Trump persona. I just watched a clip of a video of a Biden rally in one of the Carolinas. I don't remember if it was north or south. And I know that in these rallies, people come to the podium and support the candidate. That's part of the rally. And I know that, I believe her name is Jill, Jill Biden. Joe Biden's wife uh, is going to come in and sound strong, strong voice, all that stuff. But the full picture, when you're looking at Biden standing off to the side, it doesn't take a doctor or a psychiatrist or a whatever to see that he had absolutely no idea what was going on around him. He looked like he was in pain. He was definitely lost mentally. And folks, I d I'm not mad at him at all. I'm really, truly mad, like that's going to do anything, but I am really, truly mad at anybody and everybody that has anything to do with this treachery that's going on, this immorality that's going on with putting that man through what he's going through when he's not competent for it. Did I like Biden being elected as president when at first it seemed like he might have had a little cognizant to him? No, I didn't. But that doesn't mean I want him treated like this. This is immoral. It's disrespectful. It's shameful. It's pitiful. Do I like Biden's policies? No. Not most of them. Or there might be a thing or two that he's he said a thing or two that I agreed with, but overall his policies I disagree with. Okay. That's politics. There's been more than one there's not been a president in seat, including Trump. I am a Trump supporter. But not because it's the Trump. It's because the policies that he pushes, I agree with, mostly. I don't agree with him on the pro-life stance. I am an abolitionist to abortion. Look that up. I'm not going to get in, go into that other than just saying it. I'm just telling you there's one thing that I disagree with him on. Would I like Trump the man? I have no idea. I've never met him. I would need to shake his hand, look in his eyes, and talk to him. And he may not like me either. Okay. Join the club. There's plenty on both sides of the like and don't like Chris Moore. Okay. That's called the world we live in. But to treat that man, Biden, Joe Biden, this disrespectful, this immorally, there's something happening, people, and it is not good. I wish more people would listen to, there's a lot of folks that are, I'll put Charlie Kirk's name in this, and I know a lot of folks are going to hate Charlie Kirk too for the same, re lots of the same reasons that they hate Trump. But one thing that I have noticed that Charlie Kirk does in some of the videos of his that I've watched, the clips of him on campus or whatever. Yes, he has the side that he supports, and Trump is it. Trump is not the Republican Party, even though it's it, it's been socially accepted that he is. But Charlie Kirk puts facts on the table. And you can look the facts up 
He got them from websites that we can all get on. I have not gotten on one of them. But I do know that, I mean, he surprised me with a few of the statistics that he came out with that I thought the numbers would have been different. But it all points to and supports the positions mostly that I hold. And people are ignoring that part. I'm not talking about the the, the conservative side of what Charlie Kirk stands for or stands with. I'm talking about the absolute facts from solid, trustworthy sources and likely more than one source. And for the record here on the sources, folks, I listen to CNN and Fox News, and I don't trust either one of them. Not completely. Very little, actually. Uh, but I hear it on both sides. There's times that I think CNN has covered things better. There's times that I think Fox News covered things better. They both tend to put their opinions in, even when it's the news hour, which I don't appreciate a bit. We need to go back to the Tom Brokaw era where they reported the news and let you decide whether it was a good thing, a bad thing, or whatever. I even heard there's a there was a mid twenties year old kid walking around uh, yes, I know 20 years old is an adult kid to me. <laughs> he was asking people post, well, pre, during, and post debate. But the questions that I'm referring to, he was asking people post debate, Thursday night, presidential debate, what their opinion of the outcome was. And there were a handful of people that stated that Joe Biden is not on his game, he's got dementia or something, and I'm talking after other people now. I'm not even, this, is, this part's not even my opinion. I'm talking after people that were in these little street, quick interviews, questions, whatever you want to call it. They said, Biden's not on his game, he's got dementia or something, he's got some kind of health issues going on, he wasn't with it at all, he looked lost. But, now this is their words, He's just the face of the party. He's not the one calling the shots. And that's who we're voting for. When we vote for Joe Biden, we're, we're voting for the backstage that are actually calling the shots. Our, they're saying our president is not calling the shots, point blank. We all know there's a cabinet. We all know there's strings being pulled. We all know that political crap that goes on. But when you vote for a man, we ought to be able to be voting for that man in his stance on the issues that we hold near and dear. Is that naive? No. Is it reality of what's going on? No. Was it what the Founding Fathers intended for the office of president, cabinet, of the people, for the people, by the, by the people? I don't remember the order now. Of the people, for the people, by the people. Our politics are not that today. That aside, the folks in power in offices that could step up and do something either side of the aisle or off the aisle with the other, you know, Republican, Democrat, and the other folks, the whatever they're called, other political parties, but whatever, the ones that are in office, in positions that can get something done and are not. Even the Bible says, I'm paraphrasing, but the good man that sees evil happening and does nothing is worse than the evildoer itself, himself. we got a lot of evil happening, folks. We got a lot of things going on that we don't know about. We can see some things, we can speculate, we can pretty well 
No, because we've got some intelligence to us and some common sense, and we will actually look through all the garbage and see the facts and see what's going on. But unfortunately, you can't really do that with mainstream media. All of the media is fogged. But to have somebody in the shape that Joe Biden is in and taking advantage of him like they are is shameful. It's immoral. How dare you, whoever you are. Please don't support that. I'm not exactly sure how. I know there's folks that are absolutely not going to vote for Donald Trump. I know there's folks that are absolutely not going to vote for Joe Biden, but it's not anymore. It's not the man. Well, it is the man. Uh, but it may not be the personality of the man that you need to vote for. First off, pray your conscience. Pray for the Holy Spirit to guide your choice and vote. Vote your conscience got your conscience being guided by the Holy Spirit. To do that, you have to be Christian. Christians, stand up. Go vote. Uh, I don't remember. I've got Jack Hibbs over here frozen on the TV watching him, preacher out of Chino Hills, California. Uh, and he quoted, I believe, uh, like Gary Hamrick did the other day too that I watched. To think that Jesus was not involved in politics while he walked the earth is naive. Naive just means you don't know. Study your Bible. Look into that. Look it up on Google and then take the verses you find in Google and read the Bible. Make sure it matches so that you know you're reading the truth because the Holy Bible is the truth. Google is everything. Uh, there was definitely definitely political aspects to his life. All submitted to God. I know this has been generic. I'm not going to let this go over 20 minutes, and I'm on 17 and a half now. So I am concluding this. The main basis for this is, folks, look at what's going on. I don't know, even for those that would agree with me, even those on the left side, even those on the that want to vote Democrat, and I don't, Democrat, Republican does not matter to me whatsoever. It's what the individual man running, the individual person running for office that counts for me. I don't know if you agree with me about Joe Biden, that he's not fit. It's not his fault. I'm not mad at him. It's the other players involved that have him in the slot, that keep him in the slot, that are covering for all of that. If you agree with that, I have to do a lot of praying because I don't know. I, I don't know what God's going to, well, I, I feel like I know, but in all reality, I don't know what God's going to have you do if you will submit your thoughts, your selection for presidential voting to God, like we're supposed to do on everything. But surely, if you agree with what I've said about Joe Biden and what I believe, surely you would not vote to put that man under any more immoral burden of his mental state his physical, after all that that's going on with him. Surely you don't want to do that to him. Am I in support of Joe Biden politics? No. Am I in support of taking care of a man that can't take care of himself, Joe Biden? Yes. Because that's what we as Christians are supposed to do. We are supposed to help the weak. Anyway, guys, I do love you, whether you agree with me or not. I love you in Christ. God loves you. That's the best part.